ever pondered who laid the foundation for the powerful Magadha Empire in ancient India? Let's dive into the life of Shishunaga, the founder of the Shishunaga dynasty. Born to a humble family, Shishunaga's early life was far from royal. He was raised in a world where kingdoms were constantly at war and power was the ultimate prize. Yet it was his destiny to ascend to the throne and shape the course of history. His lineage can be traced back to the Mahabharata era, a time of epic tales and legendary heroes. He was born in an era of turmoil and transformation, a period when the old order was giving way to the new. It was a time of great socio-political change in ancient India, a time that would ultimately lead Shishunaga to the throne of Magadha. Thus Shishunaga was born, destined to be a king and lay the foundation of a dynasty that would shape the future of Magadha Empire. So how did Shishunaga, a man of humble beginnings, ascend to the throne of the Magadha Kingdom? You might ask? Well, it's a tale of challenge, strategy, and victory. Born a commoner, Shishunaga's journey to kingship wasn't paved with gold. Instead, it was a rocky path filled with obstacles which he had to overcome. His first major challenge was the prevailing chaos and disorder in the Magadha Kingdom. There was a power vacuum that needed filling and Shishinaga stepped up to the plate. He rallied the people, promising stability and prosperity. His strategic acumen was exceptional. He formed alliances, built a formidable army, and embarked on victorious campaigns to expand his territory. His victories were not just on the battlefield, but also in the hearts of his people, who admired his leadership and courage. Overcoming obstacles and seizing opportunities, Shishunaga emerged as the powerful ruler of the Magadha Kingdom. Having ascended the throne, how did Shishunaga rule the Magadha Kingdom, and what were his contributions? Let's delve into the key highlights of Shishunaga's rule. Shishunaga's reign is marked by robust administrative policies that fortified the Magadha Kingdom. He was a king who believed in a strong and just administration, and his policies reflected this belief. His rule was an amalgamation of benevolence and strictness, ensuring peace and prosperity in his kingdom. Shishunaga was not just an able administrator, but also a formidable military strategist. He expanded the boundaries of the Magadha kingdom through his military conquests. His victories brought in wealth, power, and respect, enhancing the kingdom's stature among its contemporaries. But Shishunaga's rule wasn't just about administrative and military prowess, he was a patron of culture and learning. During his reign, the cultural fabric of the Magadha kingdom was enriched with the promotion of arts, literature, and philosophical discourses. The kingdom became a hub of cultural exchange and intellectual debates, attracting scholars from far and wide. One of the most notable decisions of Shishunaga's reign was the shift of the capital from Rajgriha to Patliputra. This move not only symbolized the expansion of the kingdom but also laid the foundation of what would later become one of the greatest cities in ancient India. Shishunaga's rule marked a significant era of growth and prosperity in the Magadha kingdom, leaving a lasting legacy. Every reign has an end. So what led to the downfall of Shishunaga and his dynasty? The end of Shishunaga's reign was a result of a perfect storm of internal conflicts and external threats. Shishunaga's rule was marked by his efforts to consolidate power and expand his kingdom's borders. However, his reign was not without its challenges. Inside the kingdom, the seeds of discord were sown. There was a growing discontent among the nobles and the ruling class, leading to internal strife. The power struggles within the royal court were another contributing factor to the instability of his reign. Externally, Magadha was facing threats from aggressive neighboring kingdoms, eager to exploit any signs of weakness. These external pressures further strained the kingdom's resources and its ruler's capacity to maintain control. But the final blow came with Shishunaga's death. His demise left a power vacuum that was quickly filled by his son Kalashoka. However, his rule was short-lived, and he was overthrown by his army general Mahapadma Nanda, marking the initiation of the Nanda dynasty. The transition of power to the Nanda dynasty was a significant turning point in the history of Magadha. It signaled the end of an era and the beginning of a new one, characterized by a different style of governance and a shift in the kingdom's power dynamics. Despite his remarkable rule, Shishunaga's reign came to an end, marking a new chapter in the history of the Magadha kingdom. 
So what can we take away from the life and reign of Shishunaga, the founder of the Shishunaga dynasty in Magadha? Shishunaga's life was an extraordinary journey from obscurity to the throne of Magadha, one of ancient India's most powerful kingdoms. He was the first king of Magadha, establishing the Shishunaga dynasty and laying the groundwork for the kingdom's future prosperity. His rule marked a significant period in the history of ancient India, characterized by consolidation of power and territorial expansion. His reign is remembered for its effective governance, and his capital, Kusumapura, was a center of commerce and culture. Despite the eventual downfall of the Shishunaga dynasty, brought about by internal strife and external threats, their influence persisted. Shishunaga's legacy lived on through the subsequent dynasties, shaping the course of Magadha's history. Shishunaga's life and reign remind us of the rise and fall of powers, the impermanence of reigns, and the lasting impact of good governance. हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और साथ ही बेल आइकन दबाएं जिससे समय पर नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलती रहे आपका एक लाइक हमें प्रोत्साहित करता है जिससे कि हम नई वीडियो बनाएं थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट